Now let's look at converting decimals into fractions and percents. All right, here we've got a decimal, 0.42. If we want to convert that into a fraction, if we can read it correctly, we know how to write the fraction. And by that I mean 0.42 is correctly read as 42 hundredths. Hmm, that sounds a lot like a fraction. 42 hundredths. There's our fraction. Now, of course, we need to simplify that. We can divide top and bottom. Let's divide by 2. Top and bottom. 42 divided by 2 gives us 21 over 50. Let's see. 21 is divisible by 3 and 7. 50 is not, so there is our fraction in simplest form. Let's take a look at the next one, 0.5. Now, 0.5 is correctly read as 5 tenths. Sounds like a fraction to me. 5 tenths. Remember, our decimal places are tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and so on. Here's our fraction. Again, we can simplify. Divide by 5, top and bottom, and we get 1 half. Let's look at this one. This one's a little bit more tricky, but if we have a single repeating digit like this, we have 3, 3, 3, 3 repeating, we put it over 9. We put the fraction, or the number, the digit, over 9. So we have 3 over 9. Then we can simplify that as well by dividing by 3 on the top and the bottom. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. If you don't believe me, 1 third, remember we can change that back into a decimal by dividing it. So 1 divided by 3 gives us, sure enough, the point 0.3 repeating. So we can make that conversion back to check our answer. Let's look at this one. 1.8. Okay, well, we'll take that whole number and put it out front. That's going to be our whole number in our mixed number. And then we have the point 0.8. Point 0.8 is correctly read as 8 tenths. So we have 8 over 10. We can simplify that, of course, by dividing by 2, top and bottom. We get, bring our 1 over here, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 1 and 4 fifths. Next one, 2.75. Okay, how would we correctly read that? 75 hundredths, remember tenths, hundredths. So 2 and 75 hundredths. Okay, we can simplify that. Divide by 25 on the top and bottom. And we get 2 and 3 fourths. Last one here. 0.325. Okay, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Okay, so this would be 325 thousandths. Sounds like a fraction to me. 325 over 1,000. Let's see, we can divide that by 25, top and bottom. Divide by 25. Hmm, not sure what that is, so let's pull out the handy dandy calculator. 325 divided by 25 gives us 13 and 1,000 divided by 25 gives us 40. 13 over 40, can't simplify that, so we're done. We've converted all of our decimals into fractions. Now, converting decimals into percents is pretty straightforward. All we need to do is move the decimal. So, let's start with this one, going back to the beginning here, 0.42. To convert that into a percent, Every time we make a conversion into a percent, we move the decimal two places to the right. So we have 0.42, going to move the decimal point two spots to the right, we get 42%. This one, 0.5, well, there's only one decimal there, but remember we can fill in zeros if we'd like. Put a zero there, we get 50%. 
This one, a tad tricky, but we can approach it one of two ways. One, we could move that decimal two spots, and then we can round it off and get 33.3%. Or, if we look at that, well, we know that 0.3 repeating is one third, so we have 33, and then that 0.3 repeats again, so it'll be 33 and one third percent. Okay, I would accept either of those. 1.8, again, two decimal places to the right, one, two, fill in that zero, we'd get 180%. This one, again, two decimal places to the right, 275%. And finally, two decimal places to the right, doesn't matter how many are there, it's always two, we get 32.5%. Again, another important thing to remember is that these numbers are all equivalent. We're just showing different ways that we can write them. 0.325 is the same thing as 13 over 40 is the same thing as 32.5. Hopefully this is helpful in converting decimals into fractions and percents. Good luck.